So I'm feeding the animals at the moment. So I just thought it'd be good to do a little video on um, what I feed them. First of all, we'll feed this little dude. <laughs> hey! Hey! This is all the food we have for the cats and dogs. Um, it's raw meat. So we keep it in the fridge before we feed it to them. Um, <laughs> Uh, the cats have that too, well, they have raw meat too, just the same as what we give the dog. Um, but the cats are out at the moment, so I won't be feeding them until they get back in. This stuff is nasty. Like, he has about half of it. Um, it's absolutely gross. <laughs> I'm vegan, but the pets aren't. <laughs> Which is, well, they, they obviously can't go vegan, but it is absolutely disgusting. Disgusting. I'm just going to feed him these, but I'm going to cut them into little cubes if I can. You have to cut um, carrot into little cubes for your hamster. They will just eat it, but um, I just like cutting Ori's into little cubes. I think I think it like appeals to him more than big pieces of carrot because he often doesn't like if I give him like a big treat. He likes little things, so that's just what I do. Now for the apple, which I'm probably going to store some in the fridge for like tomorrow or something because I obviously can't give him the whole thing. We have an apple slicer somewhere. I like using apple slices because it gets the seeds out for him so that because hamsters can't have the apple seeds. I always think it's so satisfying but I can't film it while I do it. Then I'm just going to chop two of these into little pieces. Um, now I'm looking at it, it does look like quite a bit, but um, I'm going to give it to him anyway. Because uh, he's quite good at like controlling himself, like he won't go and eat it all at once, so I'm not too worried. I actually think I'm just going to give him one slice because it is like loads. Um, and I'll probably just eat the rest myself, maybe store some for tomorrow, but yeah. Let's see if Loki wants an apple. Loki! Do you like that? <laughs> you can eat it. You can eat it. He loves carrots. He absolutely loves carrots, so I'll give him a carrot. Lucky! You won't like it. <laughs> you won't like it, Chibi. Come get your food. Are you still not eating it? Come on. This will make him eat it. Come on. Eat the whole thing. Good boy. I have no clue where he is, but I'm going to oops put these around his cage so that he has to forage for them. And I'll probably put his food in his bowl today. Um and while I do that, I'm just gonna tell you my plans for his new cage. So I've been looking into some new cages and stuff, and when I get some money, I'm probably going to buy him a cage from the pet shop that is big enough obviously and the one I'm thinking about is the Zoo Zone 2 cage because it's like 754 square inches which is almost which is almost double this but um I don't know um if I see one bigger I will get that. I was kind of leaning towards one that didn't have bars simply because I like to put loads and loads of substrate in but having bars is a good way to tell if they're stressed or not um, which honestly I don't think Ori is stressed because he he just doesn't well by stressed I mean bored he's not I don't think he's bored because he doesn't really chew much at all like um he has loads of things to chew but he doesn't really chew anything which can only indicate that he's either not bored or just doesn't enjoy chewing um but obviously unless i get a bad cage i can't really tell because the um, chewing the bad cage is a good way to tell if they're bored or not obviously not all bored hamsters will do that but most do 
um i can see he's been eating the florals i love to put loads of the floral um feast dried flowers in here um because it actually makes the cage like smell better <laughs> so it doesn't stink as much but also like this isn't something I've ever heard, but I really do think the Carefresh bedding smells like when you take it out of the bag. Like, I think it just smells like kind of vinegary, but I'm not changing my substrate. This is like, this is like my absolute favourite sub substrate because it's so soft and it's good for odour control. Like, if you go into my room, you can't smell hamster. Um, You can only smell hamster if you stick your head in his cage, so I think that's pretty good. Um... He's not coming out to say hello, I thought he might come out, but he's not. He admits, um, this food is about three days old, he hasn't eaten it, but I'm not worried because I do scatter feed as well, and he does take most of the food that I scatter feed, so I'm not worried that he's not eating, he's definitely eating. But, since it's three days old, it's off in the trash. <laughs> So this here is a mix of herbs and Harry Hamster mitts. Um, this is what I've made for when I give, uh, well not give, but um, let people look after him when I go on holiday or something. Um, so that they don't have to mess around like I do. Um, but I, have, I am going to also have them scatter some Harry Hamster mitts because I feel like I'm lessening the actual seed content. Um, it also has some... It has one of these shrimp biscuits um, broken up into it so that there's a little bit of animal protein in there because reading the ingredients I'm pretty certain that the Harry Hamster mitts doesn't really have much or any animal content in um, so I always make sure he has some of that too. Um, but I have been using this as well as the Harry Hamster mitts in his seed mitts as well. I'm rambling, I'm so bad for rambling, but so I just, I'll just put some of that in there um, and then take a pinch of the Harry Hamster mitts um, and also add that in so that he has a well balanced meal. Um, I absolutely love this seed mitts, it's the best one in my opinion, um, in the UK stars because it has the right amount of like fibre, protein and everything is very, it is very varied like compared to most other mitzvahs. Um, I'm still like not 100% on his diet, um, I'm still like working things out but I feel like I've got something quite good at the moment. Um, I do give him scrambled egg as well for animal protein and dog biscuit, biscuits, um, half of one of those a week, but at the moment um, I don't have any eggs because I buy my eggs from a farm shop where I've seen the chickens um, and I know they're okay, um, but obviously because I'm vegan I don't really, I try to like even though I don't personally eat any animal products for my pets, I try to get the most ethically sourced meats, apart from, well, for Ori anyway, because I'm not really in charge of the others. So where where I can, I'll go for the ethical options. So that's why I like to get my eggs from chickens I've actually seen. Um, I ramble so much, but anyway, that's, that's what I do for his diet. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and the... Oh, shit. Well, anyway, bye, guys. <laughs>